Hey guys, Red Llama here. So in this video, we're going to be going over the power consumption on a 3070 LHR card on Ethereum using these power meters and also taking a look at the 3060 on MB Miner uh, version 40.1. <laughs> Alright, so let's talk about what I have here right now. So I have the 3070 hooked up right now. It's on MSI Afterburner. We do have it for law. So if I go here, it is locked at 1035 right now. And the way you do this is you just click on the value that you want to be locked. And you just hit on the keyboard L to lock it. Just for those who are wondering how to do this. Um, so that's that's locked and the memory has been bumped up to plus 1250 and at 100 uh and that's what i did for the 3070 for the 3060 i had done was 65 for the power limit negative 502 for the four and memory was bumped up to 1284. We're mining on MB Miner version 40.1. And we're getting about 44.5 mega hash on 3070. 30 on the 3060, we're getting about 29, 20, uh, about 30 mega hash right now. And the LHR mode is activated for both these cards. According to the miner, uh for the 3070, we're using 112 watts now if we go to uh, uh, hardware info we're getting anywhere from 112 to 120 so if i reset this um uh, we should see anywhere from 112 or 111 to 120. now if we look at the meters i have in place we're getting about the same as well so let's do this in real time all right so in this part of the video, we're going to just focus on hardware info, the information for the 3070, and also the meters itself. So again, the meters are connected in a way where the top meter is connected to the 3070 on the two pins, and then the meter on the bottom is connected to the riser. And what we're seeing is the meter on the top is fluctuating anywhere from 50 to 66 max, and then the riser meter is and it's fluctuating anywhere from like 46 to 51. For hardware info, what we're seeing is the power on the GPU is fluctuating anywhere from 111 to 121. So now if we compare these values, these meters are pretty much exactly the same as what we're getting in hardware info and again you kind of just saw it right there as soon as it got to 120 on hardware info both meters jumped up to 66 and 51 which is 117 which is right in line with the total power consumption that we saw that we just saw that at that one instance so what does this mean this is accurately telling what we're getting at the riser. And if we're getting about 51 watts to the riser, that means do not connect a SATA con connector to this riser because it just it's just not gonna work out with, well for you. And if you purchase this from GPU risers, it should be fine because they don't have any type of that connectors on there right now. So it should be good. All right, guys, so that's it. Uh, I hope this video makes sense and please leave any comments or questions down below. If you enjoyed this video, please like it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to this, this channel and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks guys.